Hey guys, Machines and Mal here. Just wanted to show you this little project I'm working on the last couple days. I don't know if you, if you remember, but if you look at some of my older videos from a year or two ago, you'll see a uh, big silver uh, Grumman service van that um, I'm doing some uh, tractor, lawn tractor service and repairs with. Well, this is, this is that van, guys. Um, this van has been kind of sitting in... Uh, dormant mode for the last two years or so year and a half and i finally decided that i better make a go of using this thing uh this coming season 2020 uh, otherwise there's no point in having it and uh, i've honestly never really given this thing uh, a fantastic opportunity to thrive now obviously it takes a lot of time to run a small engine repair business and I work full time so this is going to be the, the side hustle this this coming season and I just wanted to show you the van because I've been working on it like crazy the last couple of days I've probably spent I don't know about 10 hours maybe 15 hours on it anyway so what I've gone and done is I, I changed the um, interior lighting from uh, 110 volt um, uh, digital electronic ballast T8 fluorescent tubes, four foot tubes to these. I actually bought these on Amazon. These are LED. Uh, I believe they're uh, transformed to 12 volt uh, through the through the, the ends here. I'm not sure, but I, anyway, I think they're transformed to 12 volt off of 110. The bonus to these though, guys, is when I run uh, the inverter, like right here, oh, look at that. Uh, this is my inverter switch. So this switch is between shore power and uh, battery backup power there's a big inverter a tundra inverter i don't know if you can see it i'm gonna have to make another video in the daytime but in behind the in behind there there's a like a 56 5600 watt tundra inverter that runs off two um batteries which are down there right there um interstate six volt batteries a pair in series these are charging right now i think these batteries might be toast they're about four years old and have never really been used so i'm trying to bring them back to life but anyways we've got the inverter set up and when we ran the fluorescent lights off the inverter because it's a modified sine wave it's not a smooth sine wave it's stepped they would buzz they had a really nasty buzzing singing sound so i hoped i had my fingers crossed that when i installed these led ones that the, the sound will go away. And uh, right now we're plugged into shore power, guys, because this thing this thing was down. It's taking a bit of a charge now, but it was down about 11.4 volts and the alarm on the inverter was going off. We um, left her on shore power for the day, but I'm gonna leave this charge all night. So tomorrow we should have a full battery, I hope. And we're gonna see if this thing, if I switch it over to, um, to battery power, if these lights cause a buzz, I doubt they will. Uh, I've got a second inverter here. This is a big old beast. It's got a 20 amp breaker on it. Um, I'm gonna try to use this. It's 2100, is it 2100 watts? Uh, yeah, sorry, output power, 2100 watts, 120 volt. Um, we're gonna see if we can get this thing to run this uh, 15 amp, 120 volt uh, air compressor. So I'm probably going to end up having to get a second pair of batteries to run uh, just this off of, which is fine. Uh, this fan's also got a generator down under the floor. Down in there I installed a, an Onan uh, two-cylinder, I think it's a 5,000 or a 4,500 watt RV generator, which will be have a push-button start inside the shop. So anyway, I just tore out a bunch of stuff. I tore out the, the reel mower grinder that used to sit there because I was sharpening reels in here, but we're no longer going to do that service on the road. That's going to be a take it back to the workshop uh, job. And I also took out, um, there was some stuff stashed in here and we took that out. And uh, just basically emptied this thing out so I can start putting some uh, racking. There's going to be a bunch of racking here for parts. And then I'm going to have some shelving here for oils and things like that. Chemicals. And, and then obviously the tools are going to get sorted in. And then cabinets here. There's cabinets for, for storage of stuff. So anyway, I just thought I'd make this video. I'm going to call this part one of the mobile lawnmower service van video series and make a few other bits and maybe give you guys some ideas if you decide to set up your own mobile lawnmower service business. Um, 
I've been doing this for about 10 years, N not mobile, but lawnmower service. And I've learned a lot about how to deal with these small engines and machines, lawnmowers and pressure washers and chainsaws and stuff like that. So I thought you know, doing it on the road, you know, probably a really nice service to offer the community. And uh, I've kind of had this van in the back of my head as a dream for a long time. And it's finally, I think, starting to come together. That's the old compressor right there that I was running before when I did run this van for a season, but it's too small, so we're going to remove it. It's actually plumbed through the floor to a tank on the front of the van. The front bumper is actually a, a auxiliary air tank, which probably wasn't the greatest idea. But anyways, we'll make some more videos in the daylight, guys. I just wanted to show you that. Kind of got a good bunch of work done on her tonight. And uh, hit the subscribe button so that you can follow, follow up on this little project. Thanks for watching.